La Roger 180 degree full dump kit cart conversion assembly. Step 1. Lay the hardware on top of the hardware identifier page in the manual to verify you're assembling with the correct parts. Step 2. Use the release pedal and tip the cart forward to access the underside of the cart bed. Using a socket wrench and screwdriver, remove the hardware connecting your cart bed to the A-frame. Loosen the nuts and bolts using the socket wrench and screwdriver. Now lower the cart back down to access the front bolts. Again, using a socket wrench and screwdriver, remove the remaining hardware connecting the cart bed to the A-frame. Note, a total of 8 nuts, 8 bolts, and 8 washers will be removed from the cart bed and A-frame. Now use the foot pedal to release the cart bed and lift it off of the A-frame and wheels. Step 3. For alignment purposes, place the rocker base plate against the bed of the cart. For measure-free alignment during drilling, temporarily add the pivot arms to the cart. Using the four existing cart holes, slide four 5 16 inch round head screws to temporarily hold the pivot arms in place. Note, this template is for alignment only. There is no need to secure with a nut. You will remove the pivot arms after this step. Now locate the provided drill bit and insert it into your drill. Using the remaining four circular holes of the rocker plate as a template, drill four new holes through the bottom of the cart bed. Step 4. Slide the drilling template over the cart rim and center it over the end of the pivot arm. Using the supplied drill bit, drill through the template holes straight into the cart rim. Repeat this step with the other pivot arm, using the template and drilling directly into the cart rim. Now remove and set aside the pivot arms, the four round head screws, and the drilling template. Locate four of each of the following hardware, round head screws, flat washers, lock washers, and hex head screws. Then align the pivot brackets with the newly drilled holes on both sides of the cart rim. Add a flat washer to each round head screw and pass through the cart rim and pivot bracket. Secure the pivot bracket to the cart rim by adding a lock washer and hex head nut to the end of each screw. Repeat this step for the other pivot bracket, securing the pivot bracket to the cart rim using the hardware. Step 5. Align the holes of the right pivot arm with the A-frame and add two carriage bolts. Beneath the A-frame, loosely add a lock washer and nut to each of the carriage bolts. Note, do not fully tighten the nuts yet. Now align the holes of the left pivot arm with the A-frame and add two more carriage bolts. Beneath the A-frame, loosely add a lock washer and nut to each of the carriage bolts. Note, do not fully tighten the nuts yet. Also note, the hooks of the pivot arms will face towards the center of the cart. Now, to perfectly align the pivot arms, temporarily slide the rocker base into the slots of the pivot arms. Now fully tighten the four nuts to secure the pivot arms to the A-frame. Align the A-frame support bracket with the holes above the axle and run two bolts through both holes. Add a lock washer to both bolts and secure fully under the A-frame with two 5 16 inch nuts. Then, remove the rocker base from the assembly. Step 6. Now stand your cart bed upright and lean it against the lock bracket like a kickstand. Note, placing a board or support under the lock bracket will adjust the cart bed to a more upright position. Put a flat washer onto two round head screws and pass them from the inside of the cart through the two upper newly drilled holes and rest the rocker base plate on the ends of these screws. Secure the rocker base plate in place with a lock washer and hex head nut on the end of both screws. Pass two more bolts through washers, the lower newly drilled holes, and the rocker base plate. Secure in place with lock washers and nuts. 
Tighten all four screws and nuts with a 5 16 inch wrench on the outside and screwdriver on the inside of the cart bed. Step 7. Now lay the cart bed opening down to affix the motion rocker bracket to the cart bottom. Hook one end of the spring upwards through the center hole of the rocker motion bracket. Twist around and stretch the spring down to hook to the other end of the base plate rocker. It's very important that the spring must be hooked exactly as shown. Step 8. Place the motion bracket over the outside of the first set of extended arms of the base plate to align the rocker parts. Slide in two bushings from the inside of the motion bracket through the holes in the base plate extended arms. Add a washer to each bolt and run two bolts through the bushings and loosely secure with two hex head locking nuts. Now loosely tighten the two hex head locking nuts with two wrenches, but be sure to allow movement. Step 9. Now align the rocker handle with the rocker motion bracket and add both bolts from beneath the bracket. Secure the rocker handle to the motion bracket with a nylon lock nut on each of the bolts. And then fully tighten both nylon lock nuts with a wrench. If you haven't already, now slide the rubber grip over the end of the handle. Step 10. Align the cart bed with the rest of the assembly. Lower the pivot arms in place, resting within the pivot brackets. Secure both pivot arms to the pivot brackets with two bolts and nylon lock nuts. It's important not to over tighten. Allow for movement. Step 11. Rotate the cart bed to transport position by lifting it slowly back towards the A-frame and tow bar. Make sure the lock bracket clicks in place with the foot pedal for alignment. Step 12. Peel the paper backing off of the release label and place it on the tow bar as shown. Congratulations! Your assembly is complete. Operation Step 1. Press down on the foot pedal to release and rotate the cart to the standard unloading position. Operation Step 2. Pull the lever and continue to guide the cart bed toward a full 180 degree dump unloading position. Operation Step 3. After unloading the cart, return it to normal transport position and lock securely in place. For any questions, call customer service at 877-728-8224. For more information, visit Brinley.com. Brinley, making things better since 1839.